guest is one of the leading experts on working dogs. And in her newest book, Dr. Dogs, she shares how our best friends are becoming our best medicine. Mm -hmm. Welcome New York Times bestselling author, Maria Godavage. Welcome, Maria. Welcome, Thank Maria. Thank you so much. Thank it's great so to much be here. Being here. You, what you do is, and, and what you write about is truly fascinating. And in your latest book, you talk about the fascinating new ways that dogs are, are have emerging roles, not just the roles that they used to have before, but really super important roles in medicine. And you call them doctor dogs. What exactly is a doctor dog and, and what makes a good doctor dog? Yeah, these are really cutting edge dogs. Uh, they're on the cutting edge of medicine, science. Some of them work in research. It's like there are doctors who work in research. There are doctor dogs who do this. They're, they're happy dogs, so they're usually pet dogs who come in for the day. Do they wear and lab coats? They, <laughs> <laughs> the labs do. <laughs> they come in for the day. Um, this, there are dogs who actually work in hospitals and they are detecting really nasty diseases before they have a chance to spread. And there are dogs who detect cancer in these laboratory Incredible. settings. And there are dogs who um, also, the biggest category for me, are the ones who are there side by side with their person, right. saving their lives on a daily basis. They're heroes every day. And the stories are so beautiful and emotional. And they're doing this by virtue of their noses. They're able to tell about an upcoming seizure, mm -hmm. maybe 15 or 20 minutes ahead of time. Yeah. Um, sometimes, uh, well, definitely diabetic alert dogs are very popular now, and they do such great jobs. Also, cardiovascular dogs, and they're dogs also for mental health issues. A lot of people have anxiety now, and their dogs can sometimes tell if they're going to have, say, a panic attack right. ahead of time. Same with PTSD, and right. I even write about a girl who has schizophrenia really severely, wow. and her dog is amazing. He's there at her side and can tell her to, about something. And helps to alert, um, you know, uh, the owner of, of the dog. W when these things are coming, we just had... Just like seizures, Yeah, we right. just had Alice on the show. Uh, a working dog. One Antonio. of the category winners for the hero. You called them heroes, and you're right. Alice yeah. is a category winner for the uh, Hero Dog Awards coming up. That's right. And Antonio is the boy that she looks after, and Tara, her mom, or, or his mom, are really amazing. And... and uh, Alice can detect a seizure up to 15 minutes before Antonio is going to have And never seizure. missed one. Well, I know you traveled the world uh, to see firsthand the incredible work that these doctor dogs can do. And you mentioned a little bit the diabetic alert dogs. Let's start with just that. Let's start stateside as well. Uh, this is with uh, Clay and Whitley. Uh, Clay... Uh, diabetic and Whitley uh, is the uh, diabetic alert dog. Tell us about them. Yeah, Clay almost died when he was seven. No one knew he had diabetes. It just kind of came on. He had to be airlifted to San Francisco from a few hours away oh and God. they saved his life just in time. But, and they tried to get a diabetic alert dog right away, but it took a long time. When he was 14, he finally got one. And the dog goes to high, went to high school with him. As you can oh, see, he's, uh, she would always have her tail. She's, she graduated with him. And uh, now she is actually going to college with him. She's able to tell him at least 15 minutes ahead of time when he's going to hit a diabetic low. She does this by grabbing something on her collar called a brinzel. And she does a, a low bow. And then she alerts she to him. Bows? And she, she's getting his attention in any way she can until he checks his blood sugar and she's always right. See how she's just, she's so happy. She's grabbing her brinzel right now and she's saying, come so on, that tells, check your blood sugar. That tells him that he's got to t uh, check yeah. his blood sugar. And she's always right. Isn't yeah, that amazing to see? And now he's going, in, he's going off to check his blood sugar and she can alert to him while she's sleeping. She will be sleeping and wake up and tell him and she's always right. And she can do this by sniffing, by It's scent. all about the nose. The dog's noses are so sensitive, so much more than ours are. Then we, we're just beginning to tap into Whoa. this, as you said, their intelligence by their nose, actually. You even traveled to, um, to England, a little north of London, and you visited with some dogs that are being trained to sniff all kinds of illnesses, cancer in particular. So what type of cancers are these dogs being trained to sniff? They have been trained to sniff uh, stomach cancer, ovarian, lung, liver cancer, prostate cancer. It's widening all the time as, as we see they're researching and they're finding these cancers very, very well. Here's the dog I was looking at. He was um, researching prostate cancer. He's going around and these are not prostate cancer and you will see there. <gasps> That's how he does it, and that's how and they can tell. Time. And this is early stage. This isn't just late stage. And this is these are those were urine samples. They do blood samples, plasma, just for ovarian cancer. It's amazing. And so we, those were urine samples from different people, and one of which who had the prostate exactly. cancer, yes. and exactly. the dog just from oh, that. It's easy tell. for them. It's easy once they get the training. It's easy, and they're really happy dogs. They're reward. They get a paycheck, right. lots of praise, yes. and a treat or a toy. And I, I know this. 
this in particular is, is really close to your heart, isn't mm. it? The ovarian cancer, yes. Unfortunately, we seem to have it in our family. My mom died of ovarian cancer, and it's not one of those cancers that can be detected early. So um, I was, I do have skin in this game, and I was really hardened. At one point, I got to meet a dog who researches, well, I met a lot of ovarian cancer research dogs, but there was one in particular I got to meet who sometimes moonlights, they're not really supposed to do that. They're just working in the research setting, but she's been known to go up to people and give them her paw, and it turns out, they have cancer, which is weird. Before it can be detected by Western medicine oh, yeah. techniques. The, the dogs can, do, absolutely. They, they're detecting it at stage one in laboratory settings. So this is going to lead to some kind of technology. Oh, wow. We're not going to have dogs in the back rooms of your doctor's office. Right. It's going to be technology that they will lead to. That It's a beautiful thing that they will have led to these early detection technologies. Which I don't know. I think we should have days. dogs in the I back rooms. I mean, <laughs> why, are we, why are we going Lower to over stress? The, you're gonna, I'd you rather have some... the dog than the test. Kind of. the dog <laughs> tell me, you know? Right. Well, it's also uh, important to talk about uh, the impact that these doctor dogs can have on mental well-being yeah. as well. And you've got a great example of that. Uh, beautiful dog Lloyd helping Matthew, who um, has got autism spectrum disorder. So tell me a little bit about these guys. Before Matthew got Lloyd, he's a beautiful Labrador retriever, he could barely go out of the house. He could not get his hair cut. They couldn't go to restaurants. Doctor's mm -hmm. visits were horrifying. Dentists where his mom would have to hold him, restrain him. It was so horrible because it's so painful for him with his sensitivities. And so when they got Lloyd, he just immediately nuzzled his, his face into this fur and started crying. They'd never seen him cry before. They do everything together. Lloyd goes everywhere he goes. There, if he has a, a meltdown in because of too much stimulation in the store, He'll just snuggle up with Lloyd, and now they travel the world. He goes doctor. He goes to the doctor. Lloyd just has to be on the the bed with him, and he's fine. They are they're jet setters now, and a complete transformation. Really, absolutely. He gave the family their life back. Yeah, and he gave this this little boy a oh. uh, childhood. He's I'm blown away. Childhood. I'm blown exactly. away. And he's doing really well Ooh. in school. He's turned into a comedian in school. Plays in the in the band. Plays That's, trumpet. I mean, all these dogs are. Remarkable and you know no matter anyone who has a dog at home knows that your dog is your hero because they just really are and You actually are mm. one of the judges for the 2019 American Humane Hero Dog yes, Awards Which is coming honor. up here very soon. What will you be looking for? Oh, it's going to be so hard because all of the dogs have such beautiful stories and they're heroes every day to their people I, I'm just looking for heart and they all have heart and and their life-changing capabilities, and, and they all have it, so it's going to be really hard. It's going to be tough. I mean, I know it's an honor, but <laughs> probably a little difficult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I will Debbie and I will be judging for everything. Oh, we've met them all. They are so amazing. Yeah. Oh, they're such yeah. amazing oh, dogs. Thank you so much for being here. And be sure to get a copy of Maria's book, Dr. Dogs, wherever books are sold. And, of course, remember to watch the 2019 American Humane Hero Dog Awards on October 21st at 8, 7 central, right here on Hallmark Channel. You'll see the two of us. Yeah, you certainly will.